Hello, dear friends. My name is Dr. Igor Etabekov. I am clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today we will talk about very popular remedy among um, patients, uh, or not only among patients, among healthy people who want to do some prevention of diseases and who wants to improve the oxygen levels in our uh, bad environmental conditions uh, with all this pollution. Uh, that's what they say, uh, how it's working. And we're talking about hydrogen peroxide as a donor of uh, oxygen. Does it really improve the health and does it fight cancer? Let's talk about it in details. Let's talk about mechanisms of action. Is it uh, really an effective donor of oxygen? Does it kill fungi and viruses inside the body? Can it fight cancer? And uh, what are the real applications in oncology nowadays? So, uh, please look at these pictures. Current and accepted medical uses of hydrogen peroxide. First, wood debridement in a clinical setting Healthcare providers may use it to help loosen and remove dead tissue uh, from a um, dead tissue, sorry, from a dirty and uh, heavily contaminated wound. This is targeted one-time use, not repeated daily application, as uh, and it always uh, is followed by irrigation with uh, saline to remove uh, residual peroxide. Second one, as you see here, uh, dental applications. Teeth whitening agent. Hydrogen peroxide is the primary active bleaching agent uh, for teeth. It breaks down into water and oxygen radicals that penetrate animal uh, to oxidize or break down stain compounds. Periodontal therapy. Dentists use it uh, as an um, irrigant below the gum line uh, to help kill uh, bacteria during deep cleaning for periodontal disease. And the uh, third one, acne treatment. Some over-the-counter face acne treatments uh, contain low concentrations of hydrogen peroxide for its antibacterial and uh, drying effects. It may be used sparingly to avoid skin irritation. So, super professionals in the internet claim that uh, because of the air pollution we all need uh, to increase our oxygen in blood, to become healthy in order to do this, everyone needs to drink hydrogen peroxide. Let's clear up if it's true or false. Uh, how does H2O2 kill bacteria? H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide. Uh, it works by oxidizing vital cellular structures, attacks fatty acids in cellular membrane, starting a chain reaction, called uh, uh, peroxidation of lipids. These pokes holes in the cellular membrane, destroying the microorganism. Also, it can uh, break, uh, damage the DNA strands, leading to breaks and mutations. That's how it kills bacteria. So, so now you understand the mechanism. Why hydrogen peroxide can be donor of oxygen uh, in uh, the blood. The idea seems logical. Hydrogen peroxide breaks down into water and O2, and this O2 can be uh, the source of O2 for us. So why can't we use this oxygen to oxygenate our blood? First of all, the breakdown happens in the wrong place. When you drink hydrogen peroxide, it uh, comes into contact with uh, cells long before it reaches the bloodstream. The lining of your mouth, esophagus, stomach has high amounts of enzyme catalase and its job is to neutralize hydrogen peroxide, uh, peroxide very fast. This is why you see this um, rapid fizzling when you add hydrogen peroxide to the wound. This is because hydrogen peroxide is uh, neutralized by this catalase into water and O2. This is the gas formation, all these bubbles. This oxygen is released as gas bubbles, not as the dissolved oxygen. If these bubbles are produced in, inside the GI tract, this will cause uh, bloating and discomfort. 
or you can just burp it out. What if theoretically you drink very high amount and uh, some hydrogen peroxide is absorbed into your blood? Uh, it would form the gas, the bubbles of oxygen. And you know about the bubbles inside the blood. It's dangerous. You saw the uh, doctors who do like this with the syringe to remove all the uh, air from there because it can cause air embolism. Uh, this uh, oxygen inside the blood as the gas, as the bubbles, weren't... Uh, give us any benefit. It's not a dissolved oxygen. This is gas embolism. The only thing it can do is uh, travel to organs and cause uh, infarction or stroke because it will block the blood vessels. Blood carries oxygen in different way. Our red blood cells are designed to carry oxygen bound to hemoglobin. They don't need any free bubbles of gas inside the blood vessels. That's why uh, drinking hydrogen peroxide doesn't help our body to get more oxygen that is beneficial for it. It's also destroyed immediately. As uh, explained uh, before, when hydrogen peroxide touches our mucous membranes of your digestive tract, catalase and other enzymes break it down. It never has any chance to travel through your bloodstream to reach systemic fungal infections. Some people say, oh, well, um, treat uh, fungi in our body by drinking uh, hydrogen peroxide. Again, first of all, it will be immediately neutralized uh, when it touches the lining of our GI tract. It will never reach any systemic uh, fungal sites in your organs or deep tissues. Also, hydrogen peroxide is not selective. It won't damage only bad cells and uh, not touching our normal body cells. Of course, if it's very highly concentrated, uh, it can damage our cells uh, in the same way as it damages bacteria. That means uh, the cells lining your mouth, stomach or esophagus are also vulnerable the same way as bacteria are. Drinking uh, hydrogen peroxide in high amounts may cause uh, burns, inflammation, ulcers and disruption of healthy gut microbiome. The concentration of hydrogen peroxide is the key. 3% hydrogen peroxide is used uh, topically for wounds and uh, high concentrations like 35% are extremely corrosive and more dangerous. That's why all the internet recommendations are just few drops uh, into big amount of water and the final concentration will be very low. That's why we don't see any harm with these concentrations because this uh, hydrogen peroxide is super diluted. But also there is no benefit of course. But I wouldn't say that hydrogen peroxide cannot be used in cancer treatment. For example, Cortuk method. It's a highly controlled, localized injection of hydrogen peroxide inside the tumor, avoiding bloodstream and avoiding digestive tract. Also, I want to mention that hydrogen peroxide has a dual role in cancer. It is a signaling molecule. At low concentration, it may promote cancer growth but in high concentrations, it can cause oxidative stress and kill cells. Because cancer cells um, have uh, higher baseline oxidative stress than normal cells, uh, stretches, uh, strategies that uh, further increase hydrogen peroxide levels, for example, using prodrugs or nanoparticles that will release this hydrogen peroxide, aim to push cancer cells over a toxic threshold while sparing healthy tissues. According to the article on the left, these um, substances can increase the production of hydrogen peroxide in the tumor. Uh, these are metals, copper, iron, manganese, polyphenols like curcumin, high dose vitamin C, I covered it in separate videos, photosensitizes in photodynamic therapy, and uh, newer nanoparticle mediated approaches. For example, zinc oxide nanoparticles produce uh, hydrogen peroxide via surface reactions under acidic tumor conditions. That's why the scientists tr are trying to, uh, to use hydrogen peroxide mechanism to kill cancer cells, but a more target, uh, in a more targeted way, not to affect normal cells because hydrogen peroxide in high concentration uh, can be toxic as we already understood. Uh, controlled medical use uh, as a radio sensitizer 
enhancing radiotherapy. This is the other application of hydrogen peroxide in official medicine. Our research focuses on using low dose hydrogen peroxide injecting injected directly into tumors to make them more sensitive to radiation. This approach is known as CORTUC, Cochi Oxidal Radiation Therapy for Unresectable Carcinomas. It uses a gel-based formulation, hydrogen peroxide mixed with sodium hyaluronate, to ensure slow release and reduce irritation. How it works? Hydrogen peroxide breaks down into oxygen and water in the tumor. Uh, the increased uh, oxygen levels may, he may help to overcome hypoxia, low oxygen, in cancer cells, which is a known cause of radiation resistance uh, that can improve radio sensitivity and uh, radiation therapy ability to kill the tumor. And, uh, there are clinical trials. Cortuk uh, therapy uh, was developed in Japan that involves intratumoral injection of a mixture of this uh, hydrogen peroxide and sodium hyaluronate gel to sensitize uh, tumors to radiation. One phase one trial with breast cancer, 12 patients with uh, inoperable breast cancers that were bigger than three centimeters. Patient received this injection of uh, gel twice weekly before radiation therapy. It was tolerated very well. No additional toxicity was added. No significant toxicity. There were no more uh, skin reaction, for example, after radiation therapy when this treatment uh, treatment was added. And uh, 11 of 12 patients showed uh, some decrease of tumor or even full de full uh, disappearance of tumor. They were followed for one year. Other study: 13 patients with uh, rectal cancer, unresectable rectal cancer. They took uh, 3% hydrogen. Uh, peroxide soaked gauze inserted in, into the rectum during radiation therapy. All patients experienced pain, re pain relief, uh, stop of bleeding and good tumor shrinkage. And the phase uh, 2 trial is ongoing to confirm these findings. And again, drinking it or injecting it into the bloodstream doesn't give you any benefit, only harm. Uh, the only benefit is topical use. Uh, or um, injection into tumor. Uh, topical hydrogen peroxide, as you can see here, for uh, non-melanoma skin cancer. They took 11 patients with 17 lesions, used 33% uh, hydrogen peroxon, uh, peroxide before doing surgery. They used cotton swab, applied it to their tumor. And what was interesting, 53% of lesions showed uh, complete disappearance after this application alone requiring no further surgery. The others showed a significant uh, reduction in size, so it was easier to remove it afterwards. And side effects were minimal. Of course, it's a very high concentration and it must be done only in medical setting. Again, drinking hydrogen peroxide is the dangerous misconception. Their body's uh, biochemistry is finely tuned to neutralize it instantly, instead of uh, becoming a helpful donor of uh, oxygen or um, systemic antiseptic, it becomes the uh, poison causing uh, chemical burns or even uh, fatal gas emboli. The legitimate medical research into hydrogen peroxide for cancer like Cortuk method we discussed earlier understands this perfectly. That's why it uses highly controlled localized injection directly into tumor, avoiding the bloodstream or GI tract. Dear friends, thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for supporting this channel. This is very important for me. I will be grateful if you share this video or write comments. Wish you good luck, God bless you and goodbye. Don't be